Hello everyone. Welcome to Desilicious Kitchen. Today we are going to see how to make mixed vegetable pulao. Pulao is made in most Indian homes. There are different ways of making the pulao, but we have to see that the spices are well balanced to get a good pulao. We are going to show you a nutritious and yummy pulao today. But before that, what do you need to do? You need to subscribe to our channel Desilicious Kitchen and do not forget to subscribe press the bell to our icon channel for notifications. And press the bell icon for notifications. Yes, do press the bell icon after subscribing. And as you all know, one cup is two fifty milliliter in our recipes, but you can take any measurement cup you want. And we have taken two cups basmati chawal or basmati rice, washed it well, and soaked it in water for thirty minutes. And while the rice is soaking in water, we have taken two medium-sized onions and sliced them thin like this. And then we have taken two tablespoons ginger garlic paste, four green chilies, out of which three have been chopped fine and one will be crushed in a mortar and pestle. Two tablespoon kaju or cashew nuts comes to around twelve cashew nuts. One tablespoon raisins or kishmish. Four tablespoon finely chopped coriander leaves or hara dhania. Four tablespoon mint leaves or pudina finely chopped. Two tablespoon dry fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. Salt as per taste. One tablespoon lemon juice or nimbu ka pani. And now let us begin by chopping the vegetables. We have chopped beans, one cup. Then spinach. One cup, cauliflower. One cup. We have peeled potatoes and chopped them. Comes to one cup. And now, in a mortar and pestle, we have taken half tablespoon jeera or cumin seeds, half tablespoon black peppercorns or kali miri, one tablespoon dhania. Or coriander seeds, one tablespoon soft or fennel seeds, one tablespoon methi seeds or fenugreek seeds. There now we are crushing it to a coarse powder like this. Now this powder will be sprinkled on the vegetables and mixed well. This will go into marinating the vegetables. Now we are crushing one green chilli, breaking it and crushing it. This all this also will go into the vegetables that we have chopped. Add in some salt, mix well, and now add in some ginger garlic paste, just half teaspoon. Now let us mix it well, and keep it aside. And now we have taken half cup ghee and heated it, and added in one big bay leaf, one inch cinnamon, mace or uh, javitri, cloves or lavang, two, one kali lychee, two green cardamoms, some three to four peppercorns, all whole garam masala spices. We have given all the ingredients in the description box, and now we are adding in kaju or cashew nuts. Stir it until the cashew nuts slightly change color. Now they have slightly changed color. Now we are adding in the kismis or raisins. Now we will be stirring the kismis or raisins until. The cashew nuts turn brown, and the raisins expand. Now it is time to add in the sliced onions. Mix well and stir until the onions are browned. Yes, we need our onions to be brown now. If you want, we can deep fry the onions and add them later. But I do not want to deep fry them. Now we are adding in ginger garlic paste.
Mix well and stir until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes. This should take about a minute. And now let us add in chopped green chilies. Mix well and stir for a few seconds, say about 5 to 10 seconds. And now add in kasuri methi or dry fenugreek leaves. Now the pudina leaves or mint leaves, coriander leaves or haradhaniya. Mix well and stir. And now let us add in the chopped vegetables. These vegetables have been marinated with the crushed masala as you have seen. We have added in salt and some ginger garlic paste to it already. You can use any combination of vegetables. Now it is winter and you get really good fresh vegetables. This is the most aromatic pulao, almost as good as a biryani. Stir for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, let us add in just 3 to 4 tablespoon water. Mix well. And now let us cover and cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, the vegetables are almost done, half done. And now we are adding in hot water. We have added in 4 cups hot water for 2 cups basmati chawal. Water is double the quantity of the rice. Add in some salt. When the water comes to a boil, we will add in the rice. Rice that we have soaked and then drained. Mix well. And now cover and cook for 8 minutes on a very low flame. Even about 10 minutes it may take. 8 to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we have opened it. As you can see, it's looking very nice. The rice is almost done. 95% done and the vegetables are cooked but don't worry or basmati chawal will get cooked in the heat even after switching off the flame. So we'll cover it for 10 minutes and then serve it but before that let us add in some lemon juice. This is for soreness it's optional. Mix it gently and cover it for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes let us serve the rice. It's so aromatic. Our yummy basmati chawal is ready. You can have it as is. As I said it is a one pot meal. But we like to have it with some bindi ka salan today. Do check out the bindi ka salan recipe in our channel. It's a very yummy recipe. It goes very well with this pulao and biryani. I hope you all like this recipe. Do give us your feedback here. Bye for now. Take care.